Hi, this is number six of seven strategy mistakes that make your nonprofit look unprofessional. There is a classic training video, you perhaps have seen it, about driving to Abilene. And the story in the video is about a family on a hot summer afternoon that all agrees somewhat reluctantly to drive to Abilene and get an ice cream and come back. When they get home, they realize that no one wanted to go, but no one was brave enough to speak up and say, I don't want to go. Are you sure you want to go? Which would have given everyone permission to not go. False consensus or expected consensus can be like that in your nonprofit. When you have that very easy, people are like, okay, let's go. I see it as a false shell. It means that, yes, they're performing the outside motions of consensus, but they aren't doing the hard work of finding the answers. One of the things that really helps to avoid this is to have conversations with your board members so you know what the thinking is, what the direction is that they're, they're leaning towards, what their issues are before you go into this board session. One of my experiences working and studying and, and talking with boards about strategy led me to a board that the CEO said, you know, they're not going to be very easy to get along with. There's a lot of contention. And I was like, great, let me have the conversation. One person in particular was in love with a certain activity and he wanted it no matter what, front and center, number one, and everybody else was like, oh. What I found out when I talked to him was the event was a symbol of something and what he wanted behind it was what he wanted. He wanted to educate children and there I found a lot of consensus. And so even before we got to the board strategy se session, I had a conversation with him about what other ways he could achieve his objective and it was a possible that besides the event we could do other things and actually he agreed. And so when we went into the meeting, we did not have easy consensus, but we did have it by the end of the meeting because we got down into the weeds and into the gritty, nitty gritty, and we explored things and we understood what everyone wanted, which was way more in common than they thought. So when you expect consensus going in, that can be a danger sign. So when you're doing your strategies, Hope for consensus, work towards it, but don't expect it. Allow people to have experiences and share with your nonprofit the best of their thinking so you can do the changing and the thinking you need to do before you go out and put your strategy to work. This is a quick look at a common challenge with nonprofit strategies. The expectation of quick consensus or consensus that everyone's on board can in fact mean that you have false consensus. I'm Karen Eber Davis, and please, if you want to know more about strategy and how to create a useful, effective strategy at your nonprofit, don't hesitate to reach out to me.